Hi all, today I'm participating in a video hop celebrating artists, Kathia's and Jenny's 5,000 YouTube subscribers. They have worked so hard to get to their 5,000 mark and we're helping them celebrate. There's a number of fabulous sponsors and prizes that will be awarded randomly throughout the hops to comment commenters. So the more you hop and comment, the better your chances of winning. Now today, the theme, the theme is celebration or celebrate and what makes me feel happy and what I want to give to help with celebrate is bright rainbow colors at the moment, just given the current climate. So today I'm going to bring to you an array of cards that have rainbows throughout it, whether it's rainbow embossing powders, rainbow ink, um, just to make, I don't know, just makes it light and happy, don't you think? All right, so I've got the Simon Says Stamp Diagonal Stripes. I'm going to ink. Now I make larger panels because I will trim this down um, and I will make more than one card for some of these. And I have set aside some of the leftover pieces that I've cut up for other future cards. So I've got my Wow Ultra Slow Drying Ink and I've stamped with my Misty tool um, the Diagonal Stripes from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to use a rainbow color of embossing glitters from WOW. So I will have all the names pop up a lot on the um, screen there on the bottom left of the embossing powders I use throughout this video. And these are all embossing glitters that I use for this particular panel here. And I do, I do actually put this in triple time speed just so one, you can see the colors, but two, it's it doesn't you don't need to see the slow-mo version of this um, and they all sparkle and it's so nice to capture all my embossing glitters i use a scrap piece of cop, uh, copy copy paper i nearly wanted to say copic um, and that's just to capture and help funnel back into the um, embossing powder jars and what I also do as my tip, I didn't actually prep my cardstock, so you can see a little splotchy part there right between the purple and the blue. I'm okay with that purely because I know I'm going to cut some of these panels down and I'll just make sure I either cut around it or I stick an image over it or a, or a, a sentiment. So I'm definitely not wasting this panel. And I would just go through the rainbow colors again until I've used up and stamped up pretty much that whole background stamped panel. Now I have definitely used a larger piece of cardstock for this um, just because I wanted to get as many panel pieces as I can. Now to heat set this I'm going to use my wow embossing powder heat tool and it's got two settings. I'm going to use the two heat setting two um, and because it's a higher speed and a higher um, heat. For my second panel, I've used the Pink and Main Hearts here. I didn't show you me stamping it. I figured you've seen me stamp now what a background panel looks like. I make a hell of a mess there. You can see that I didn't actually pay too much attention. I do this throughout this whole process. And the reason why is because I'm only placing powders on random spots and I've got to flick it really quickly so it doesn't get the whole panel. Um, and I probably should have gotten a bigger piece of paper, but I didn't and I'm not that cautious. So you can see it can tend to be a little bit messy, this particular um, part of <laughs> the, the embossing powders, but the effect is beautiful. I won't show you every color, but I'm kind of just trying to get to give you the idea here of just randomly putting powders all over a stamped background. I do better. I think it was more about practice um, <laughs> with this particular technique, um, and I don't tend to spill as much more or the spillage becomes less and less. I don't become an expert or pro in this by all means, but I get a little bit better, a little, little smidgen better. Okay, so um, now I'm going to heat set this particular panel. I zoom in because I kind of uh, tried to capture the embossing glitters turning um, once it melts. Um, it probably doesn't, you don't probably see it too clear a picture. Um, but you know, I left the video footage in there. Now with my Catherine Puller inks, I'm going to be creating my own rainbow. All the inks are going to be there displayed below on the left hand side. Um, I'm just going to work my way up. Now if this is an MFT paint stripes um, background panel, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to list the actual name um, in 
below and I'll just work my way through the colors. I probably don't pay too much particular with the rainbow order. I probably should, but I kind of just went with the flow. I'm a bit of a, you know, a careless crafter in a way with things like that. Um, but I do work my way through almost a rainbow kind of assortment of colors. Now, oh, and you can hear the birds in the background. I am doing the voiceover really early in the morning. It's when it's most quietest in my house. So I figured this would be the best time. Okay, so I stamped this. Now, the tip is using a misty and spritzing it. I want that heavily watered down that panel and it's kind of like a watered color effect. The reason why I saturated it with a spritzer is I was able to get and retain the moisture in the paper and sticking a clear holographic embossing glitter over the top. So that will help. So instead of using a embossing ink, I've used and leveraged the water from the spritzer and on the cardstock to heat set that and put um, the embossing glitter to stick that. So it does work, but you got to work quickly because obviously water evaporates a lot quicker um, than the sticky ink. Um, and here's my three panels. I was really pleased with them. So I do end up making a lot more cards than I show on the screen. And I kind of shortcut the card making process at the end because I just wanted to really show you these three particular techniques that I use to create these happy bubbly rainbow cards. Now, this is a Pretty Pink Posh butterfly stamp set. I'm going to heat set this on um, vellum with white embossing powder. The reason why I chose vellum is I didn't want to take away any of the effect of all that hard background work panels that I've created um, and vellum is a really great option to do that and also the bright white, the opaque bright white in this embossing powder and super fine captures all the details and is bright enough to still capture the image on this vellum. So again, use my scrap piece of paper. I've got a bigger jar of the embossing powder in that white because I use white an awful lot with my watercoloring um, and it's kind of my way to hide that I'm no watercoloring artist, but I can definitely stick in the lines when, heat, when it's heat embossed. <laughs> All right, heat setting again on heat setting two. And I've got this um, media glass mat here where I can heat straight directly on that and it actually heats from the back as well. So it's a really great tip to use um, and it kind of speeds up that process with the heat setting. Um, sometimes I hold it up because I try and capture um, all the heat that I made sure that I've done an all right job. Then with coordinating dies, I'm going to put that through my Couture Creations um, electronic cutting machine. I've got an array of Honey Bee sentiments. I love Honey Bee because they've got three layers to their sentiments. And I think it's quite impactful when I use a little bit of the glitter. So I've got Santorini here. I made my own glitter embossing paste and die cut some of the sentiments off screen. I actually die cut all of the sentiments off screen, I beg my pardon, and I kind of made like black and white panels. So I haven't stuck everything down, but I'm going to show you now once everything is stuck down. Some of it, the butterflies have been adhered down with some glue dots. Some of it's got a little bit of like thinner panels, thicker panels, the whole backing. Um, and I really loved it. I really loved these overall effects that you can get from different colored rainbow panels. I have a lot more that I've set aside. You can put them on the inside, you can put them on the outside. This is the pop embossing powder. It's got some ultra high um, granules in there. So that was that orange there. And um, yeah, I really liked it. I hope you liked today's card creations. Please leave a comment and help celebrate these YouTubers that's bringing beautiful content um, that's perfect for crafters and just to fill your soul with love um, and rainbows and light with all the celebrations coming up. So thank you for watching. You're going to enjoy this hop and I look forward to reading all your comments. Now don't forget to visit the next hopper which will be the start of my description below and also to thank the wonderful sponsors who has sponsored this hop to celebrate the three lovely crafters. Thanks for watching.